talked himself into this one, didn't I, Torv? <laughs> Not even interested. So I definitely, definitely talked myself into this one. It's a beautiful bike, beautiful frame, but I didn't want it for that. I wanted it for something else. I wanted it for these. These wheels. Spin, 26 inch, carbon, great sounding free hub, and these will look perfect on the mongoose. So these wheels, these wheels are not cheap at all. I first actually piqued interest in them um, after seeing a post on Facebook, 450 pounds I think they were, for a set of these, and I almost, almost ended up buying them. But this bike cost me less than those wheels. And in the time in between, I'd seen two sets of these wheels, one set going for upwards of £600, and the other set going for upwards of £700. So I think, I think I might just got, I've got the bargain of the year. They are beautiful. And the reason I wanted these to go on the mongoose is because I wanted to take the wheels off the mongoose, the hope and halo combo, and put them on the venom. So somehow, just thinking of that, I talked myself into buying this, but I'm glad to do. Now clearly the bike is a nice one, beautiful colour. I believe it's called Chrome Illusion Purpline. It's purple green flip, and quite clearly, as you can see, it's Cannondale. It comes with the head shock, which works. Um, comes with a fatty D fork, disc mount front and rear. So this puts it at a F model, Cannondale. I'm not entirely sure of the number though, because they ranged. Now I'm almost certain it's a late 90s model, the Chrome Illusion. The purpline colour, sorry, came on the F1000. I don't know if it came on any other, but the F1000 came with the SL shot fork, not the D. It also came with a CAD 4 frame rather than a CAD 3, apparently. This is a lock up, by the way, so I should be able to twist it and. Uh, it kind of works. This one's quite clearly been changed over the years. It's got the trans X bars, still got the coda stem, dual XT and LX. Um, some of them were actually specced with these, so it's possible, possible they're original, but they definitely wouldn't have come with these Pro Max V brakes. It would have either been an LX or an XT, I believe, V brake setup. Not these. The crank set, however, is original. Still the Coda crank set. Um, yeah, very worn. All the rings look quite, quite sharp now. Um, the outer mainly, I guess, which is surprising. Um, but it also comes with, yeah, the STX RC front derailleur, which again puts another spanner in the works because we've got. XT, LX, and now STX. Different bikes of the Cannondale generation were specced differently using STX, LX, XT. Depends on the hierarchy. I'm not sure. And like I say, the F1000, I believe, came with a CAD 4 frame. This is a CAD 3. And it has an XT derailleur sitting back there. So for me, this bike is one hell of a bargain. Those wheels, yeah, <laughs> definitely a potential rainy day fun there, but they'll look awesome on the mongoose. I'm going to try and find out what exact model Cannondale this is. The paint is just too good to pass up. Um, I want to find out what the Headshark rides like and well, if I can find out what bike it is, I can put it back to a roughly original spec. 
but it has got such an such an odd stance though. But we're going to make it good. Definitely utilise those um, disc brake mounts. That's it. Just an instruction. Live stream next. So grab a coffee, tea, beer, vino, whatever you want, and um, join me on the stream.